Hey guys, it's me Noah coming at you with another video. I'm here with the man himself, Orion. Tell him what you're playing, what you're playing, what you're playing. I'm playing, playing, playing. <laughs> <laughs> BA Monarchs. Monarchs, Monarchs. <laughs> I'm playing BA Monarchs. That was that. So everyone here. So let's get let's get this started. So oh yeah, so why I came up with the deck. I figured since both the decks got hit. I should play them now. <laughs> <laughs> Together. <laughs> so let's see, let's see, let's see. So first, uh, three Erebus. Uh, so, oh, I, I want a second. Basically, the BAs can either act as Tribute Father, or they can get your Monarch cards in the grave to use to summon them. Like, if you get Prime in the grave, you use it to make rank fives. So you get Erebus in the grave, you can ditch a card out of the hand, that kind of interaction. Uh, and also, their Darks... I don't know. It, was just, it, just wor it works really well together. I like it. Uh, so, three Erebus, because he's like... Aether got hit to, to one, unfortunately, but he's still really good. He spends cards and he doesn't target. He shuffles back into the deck, so he's actually really strong. Uh, then I'm playing one Kaius. All the BAs are dark, so if you do summon this, he gets his effect to hit two and then burn him for 2k. The one Aether and the one Kuraz. Uh, if I was playing like a, I don't know, actually. I'm playing the one Kuraz now because I don't really want to draw it, but it, it's actually really good. In another, in a different type of monarch build, more than one Karaz is good, but just one for this one because usually you just want to get it off Aether. Yeah, Aether. And I said check the name because I kind of like freaked out. Uh, the one Dark Arm Dragon because you're playing a lot of darks, and uh, this card's fucking broken. Nah, it's sick as fuck. It, it basically acts as a monarch. You can search this card off your monarch spell, use it with your monarch spells, and because it's twenty-eight one thousand, so it's basically a monarch that you can search off return. Uh, then onto the BAs now. Uh, three Skarm, best searcher. Uh, one Graph, one Seer, uh, got hit to one now, unfortunately, but, uh, it's alright. I'm now playing two Farfas. Uh, I'm, I lowered the BA count because Beatrice did get hit, so, like, I lowered the kind of, like, trap monster, for, like, lack of a better word, BA yeah. count, because you're kind of just using them more to get your rank threes and to, like, on your opponent's turn do stuff. Like, you can still Beatrice, but usually you want to use Beatrice to send, um, like, your Monarch cards to Grave to, like, get access to them. So that's where the interaction is there. And then I'm playing uh, one Libic to help you kind of like combo into your BA cards if you have them in hand because it negates their effects. So like you send um, you send a, like a Libic to Grave off of something and then you can get a BA from your hand if its effects negated, which is, its effects it would usually be negated, its effects negated, which is good because if you have a Monarch on board or like a Prime Monarch on board, it doesn't pop itself. Uh, one Bar Bar. This, is, this helps you edit the, edit the graveyard for Dark Arm Dragon. If you draw a late game, and it's also like burning your opponent in time, really good. Uh, and one Alec just to negate monster effect. Usually, just send. You only want to send this on your opponent's turn to negate their monster effect. Uh, then uh, one tour guide and one Phoenix Warrior Rhino. Phoenix Warrior Rhino is actually really good because it makes it so your BAs won't kill themselves if you have other monsters on board, and also it foolishes your BAs. Uh, and then your tour guide, obviously, because this card's holding it down. Free Dante you usually make. You do use it to like go into so many combos because you just get any like you get like Scarm or Graph or Seer and then you just like make Dante a mill three, summon something else, mill, make it a Dante. The uh, OCG have three uh, Tour Guide and three Samian. Did you know that? Yeah, I think, uh, uh, no. They legit just got BA though, so it's like it's different for them. No, like BA's hit for them. Dante's at one in the OCG. Yeah. Yeah, I wish they hit Dante and didn't hit Beatrice. Why? Oh, yeah, because well, Dante is a way more versatile card. Yeah, and Beatrice is like, well, I don't Beatrice know. Beatrice needs Dante. Beatrice, well, well, I mean, if they hit, if they hit, like, so they didn't actually kill BA because, like, okay, you didn't have Beatrice for, like, a solid two years and the deck was still topping. Yeah. So, like, what do you, we still have one, B, like, we have less copies of Beatrice now, and then we have, like, the one Seer. The Seer hurts more than the Beatrice, but you can still loop Seers with Dante's. And the fact that you still have three Dante's, like, Dante's the main card in the deck, you have three of it still, like, the deck's still not dead. And all the decks got slower, too. And yeah, and all the decks got slower. It's just, like, it doesn't, they barely hit BA. I, I'm actually kind of pissed about this, that BA's been around for, like, two years now. Uh, the speedrun engine, just to make more Dante's. Uh, then I'm playing, uh, two Idea and two, and one Idios. Uh, this is the extra normal summon, the Chibi Fart, if you need it. You don't always want to see this. Uh... But when you do see it, it's good because it gives you tribute fodder with the monarchs, so that's really good. Uh, then on to the spells now. 
three allure because you lost pantheism, but you have three of this now. So, and since you're playing the BAs and the monarchs, this is where the main interaction comes because they're all darks. So your allure is almost always live in your hand. Uh, then you're playing three tenacity to search your monarch spells, and the rest of the monarch spells are all just one ofs. Or playing uh, one return, uh, you use it to search your dark armor, or your monarch cards, one pantheism, uh, one domain, and one stormforth. And then the last spell I run is one Foolish Burial. It's basically like, send your BA, send your... It's really good. Send your BA, send your Monarchs. Now onto the traps. I'm playing two Prime and one uh, Escalation. Wait, they came in Super. Prime? Yeah. OTS two. Oh, shit. Uh, you know, so two Primes, because this is the best monster in the deck, and one Escalation, because you don't have Aether anymore, so you can just Escalation and summon, summon Erebus on their turn to, like spin their stuff for free and then it like loads your graveyard up it's really good and actually prime usually want to use like one prime to go uh i don't know i might bump prime up to three because i always want to have one to like recycle your mo 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 monarch uh spells and traps because you actually burn through them pretty quickly if you escalation and stuff and go on your opponent's turn escalation is really good uh the extra deck now uh still three dantes holding it down uh this card is self-explanatory uh one levier for combos uh, one Alucard. I don't have Break Sword, and uh, I don't have Grand Pulse for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I just like your opponent. Like the fact that Sub Terrors are also a thing. You can hit their set monsters if you do run into Sub Terror. So that's nice. The interaction there. Uh, and then uh, one Downard because you do have less. You do have less. Um, you don't have any more Beatrices. So like if you do have a like if you do bring a Dante back, you can just go like put Downard over it, and then you have like a Downard on board, and then you have Dante. So. Oh, that's pretty it easy. turns a Dante with no materials that you brought back off Seer into a, a monster that's alive to get the uh, re recycle. Uh, one Pleiades, uh, one Durendal, uh, and one Volcosaurus for rank 5s. You can only really go into like one rank I mean, you can go into multiple rank 5s, but the rank 5s are really uppy. Uh, the one Beatrice, unfortunately, it's still at one. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, one guy I charge her to go with the Volcosaurus. Uh, and then uh, one Divine Knight Felgrand because you can use Aether just to go into rank 8s if you need to. Uh, one Titanic Galaxy, those two rank 8s. And then I'm running a 1 F0 and I'm running one Dante P uh, Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. This is really good. This actually is really, really good because if you can like run your, if you, you can run your Beatrice and no materials into something to get this out. And then this in your opponent's turn lets you send BAs from your hand, ditch BAs from your hand to the grave to draw cards. So it lets you kind of like turbo in your deck and with more monarch stuff. And then you can play in your opponent's turn with like your BA cards, like ditch a Scar and then search at the end phase or like ditch an Alich, draw a card, mitigate them, ditch a Farfa, like bash another cards. Uh, that's the deck. It's really fun. I, I think it's, I, I, there's still some, some things that need to be worked out about it. But it's it's been really working pretty really well for me. So, uh, if you could give it a rating one out of ten, what would you give it? Um, like wait wait like ten like ten like ten being like the best. top tier meta or like ten being like I like the deck a lot. It's consistent. I like the deck a lot. It's consistent. Uh, I'd say about eight. All right, rad. Now on a meta scaling. Six or five. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, you heard it here first. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next week.